Preface Time is more value than money. You can get more money, but you cannot get more time. Jim Rohn Time is the most valuable thing we have. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself, what am I doing with my time? Am I using it wisely? Since work takes up a good share of our time, we better find or create the kind of workplace we enjoy. In America, the spotlight is on singers, dancers, actors, athletes, and politicians, some with some great opinions on business. We seem to care a lot about what they think, say, and do. Some of us follow business. We see, read, and hear about the likes of Elon Musk, Larry Page, Mark Cuban, Richard Branson, Jack Welch, Jeff Bezos, Tony Shea, and so forth. I had a great deal of respect and admiration for these entrepreneurs. They are often highly intelligent, went to the absolute best schools, and had access to the best resources. They are big-time calculated risk-takers and visionaries. They are the kinds of leaders people seem to naturally want to follow. They built and created some of the best businesses in the world. As an average guy in business from North Dakota, I don't relate to many of them. Don't get me wrong, I do try to learn from them. I just see them as being way out of my league in so many ways. Intelligence, upbringing, education, passion, resources, natural leadership, and so forth. They are clearly first-class people. I, on the other hand, have often felt like a second-class person. It was just me and my mom growing up. She was a waitress and I was a handful. I did poorly in primary school and was often in trouble socially and academically. Having red hair is a real curse when you are young, although it can be a blessing later in life. I eked out a B.A. in economics from Minot State University, one of the cheapest colleges in the state. The North Dakota Army National Guard, along with a Pell Grant, helped fund the cost. Because I wasn't smart enough or athletic enough to get any scholarships. Clearly, there are a few reasons I don't identify with other well-known entrepreneurs. Why read this book? I am writing this book for a few reasons. First, to share the real truck story for those who created it and share how these guiding principles transformed into unbelievable success. Second, I wrote it for all the entrepreneurs and business folks out there who are like me, not always seen as the smartest in the room and who don't have access to the best colleges and resources. I wrote it for those who aren't leading or working at the world's greatest or next best fill-in-the-blank. You know, the rest of us. The normal, average, everyday folks who want to create, build, grow, and learn. The owners, leaders, managers, and employees at the 27.9 million small businesses in the U.S. And the future entrepreneurs like me some of the 20.4 million students attending a regular college or university who have lots of self-doubt to overcome, and last, for the cutthroat asshole profit-first entrepreneurs and executives out there. If your only goal is to get rich, it probably won't fulfill you like you think it will. You will be known and remembered as a cutthroat asshole who got rich. You can change that with principles and create a much more rewarding fortune, which is not just money, 